Hello out there in YouTube land. Well, as you can see from the title, I've got a wireless mic system. I want to talk about a little here. I've used it for over a year now, and I'll let you know what I think in just a minute. This is Surviving 2 coming to you with another video. Well, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. As you know, I'm going to talk about my wireless mic system that I picked up over a year ago, and I've been using it off and on, and I'm really liking it. Normally, I'm connected with this lapel mic right straight back to the camera, but that gives me a limitation of how far I can go and what I can do. But with the lapel mic, as y'all can hear right now, I'm getting really good audio and y'all can hear what I'm saying. So uh, let's get to looking at what we got. Well, that's the case that it all comes in and that's pretty much what all you get inside of it and i'll show you some more details here you know this is the brochure the stuff they put out so at any time y'all feel like it go ahead and stop the video and take a closer look at it and you know that way you can have all the information you need there's 100 channels to these and you can also connect up more than one. I forget exactly how many of these you can have connected together to where it goes back into the one master. I do remember. You can only have two of the remote mics that'll go back into this one master. It has an A and a B channel. Well, I had some technical difficulties with the camera. The internal microphone, for some reason, wasn't working when I'm standing here talking, showing you where I'm gonna go to, and trying to explain some other stuff that for the life of me, I can't remember what I was saying. Blah, blah, blah. So now here I'm showing you the transmitter that I have hooked to my clip and talking about the receiver that's hooked to the tripod and tied in. I'll show you some of that here after a while. Talking about the lapel mic and the cord that connects it that you have to be careful because of how long the cord is that so you can get it hung up on stuff. So I'm plugging it into the transmitter and now I'm going to plug in the receiver to the camera and I, this is where I thought the camera was catching all this. Now I'm turning the transmitter on. Yep, now I'm going. You should be able to hear me now because I already had the receiver turned on and I just turned this on. So one thing you got to be careful of is the stinking cords on these things. You can get to doing stuff and the cord can get in the way, get hung on things like that. Right now I'm just going to throw it over my shoulder and then I'll take this and clip it back down to my pocket again. Hopefully I don't pull it out. And there, now I've got it clipped on my pocket and all the excess cable is around my shoulders here. So I'm gonna take a hike. That's, uh, I'm gonna go out maybe a hundred feet, something like that, a little more, not sure. So y'all can see how this works out. 
which it generally picks up pretty good. I normally am about, I am no farther than this away from the camera when I'm doing my other videos. So this is an, kind of an extreme test going out here doing this and you know I'm just walking. I faked y'all out, didn't I? <laughs> it's still working. <laughs> I thought I'd kid with you. So I'm just wandering out here in the early morning, humid early morning. Oh my God, it's hot. It is humid out this morning. There is water everywhere just from the humidity. So, okay. This is well beyond what anyone would normally do with a camera. I probably look like a small speck out here. And, ouch. Thought something bit me. I got thongs on out here walking around in the field. I don't get over in this area that much. To show you what's that I'm not faking this. Left hand going up, right hand going up, and both of them down. So there's no way I could sync that up. If I was to do try and do this in the editing room. Now this thing, I'm, ooh, a couple of mushrooms. I need to learn more about fungi. Uh, about this thing, you know, I'm not getting paid by anybody. I don't monetize this channel. I don't care whether you buy this or not. What I'm doing is just putting it out there so that you guys have an idea what's going on and kind of give you some ideas on how you can create your videos and be able to connect and communicate and keep the volume fairly decent. So that's just how I do it and that's how it works. Okay, this is how I've got it connected up. Little orange cord goes down and down and down. And I got the receiver clipped on the tripod there. So that way it'll pick up the sound and send it into the camera and then the camera will record the sound and when I've got it plugged into the camera like this it cuts out the camera microphone completely you don't hear anything off of it so unless you got everything turned on it don't work I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one Y'all take care out there. Well, no, I won't see you on the next one. You guys will see me. All right then. Now we got that straight. Later. I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more in the future that I put out, just subscribe. Until then, later.